Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. And in this video, we're gonna look at how Microsoft Teams stores its files. This is gonna be a quick demonstration to show you what Microsoft Teams does with its files, where it stores them, and I'm gonna give you some hints and tips on how best to manage them as well. I'm gonna start out in Teams, and I'm in the Market Project Team, and I'm in the Manufacturing Channel. As you know, for every channel, there are files, so you can store them in individual channels, so they're separate. So there's a files tab in every channel. And here I'm looking at the manufacturing files tab. You can see I've got a bunch of different files here and I can create new files and I can also upload files. So where does Microsoft Teams store its files? It stores them in SharePoint Online. You'll probably notice there's this open in SharePoint Online button on the right hand side here. When I click on it, it's going to open up a browser and take me to the SharePoint site that's linked to my Microsoft team. So once I've signed in, it will take me to my site. Now you can see here, I'm in the documents library and the manufacturing folder. And you can see I've got my files here. And I'm in the Mark 8 project team site. So this is the site that's linked to my Microsoft team. Now let's have a look at them side by side. So I just drag this one over here and grab up Teams here. Now you can see Teams on the left, SharePoint on the right. And you can see it maps between both places. So I've got three files here, three files there. Notice that I'm in the manufacturing channel here and I'm in the manufacturing folder here. So if I was to say delete one of these from SharePoint, just by hitting the delete button, when I come over and refresh Teams, it's also going to delete here, so they always stay in sync. That's the manufacturing channel of my team. What about the other channels? So let's go over to Teams now, and you can see when I hover over Teams, I've got five different channels here. And over here on the SharePoint side, I've got my manufacturing channel. But if I go back to the Documents library, you can see here are all the linked folders to my channels. One thing to call out here is that all these channels are always appearing in the documents library, which is the, the default library in every team site in SharePoint Online. So if I expand Teams a little bit here, you can see my channels. Now if I come to this ellipsis next to the team name and choose add a channel, and I'm just gonna call this Matt's channel, and hit add. Now, you can see Matt's channel is here in my list. And if I switch back to SharePoint, you'll see there's a new folder being created for that channel. Now, if I add a document to my channel, if I go to the Files tab and hit New, just add a new Word document. I'll just close that. So you see I've got my Word document in Teams. If I go over to Matt's channel and the ch Matt's channel folder, you can see there's my Word document. So you see how it syncs up. Another thing to be aware of is the process of deleting a channel. So if I come over here and I choose to delete Matt's channel, one thing it warns me about is that it's gonna delete the channel, which means all the conversations and all the Teams related uh, content is gonna disappear, but the files will still be accessible, okay? And it says you can go and check them here. So if I click on that, it will take me to the match channel folder and you can see here I've got my Word document. So if I go ahead and delete that channel, you can see match channel has disappeared from here, but over in SharePoint, we just expand that out a bit and go back to the document side, but you can see match channel still exists here. Okay, so if you delete the channel and you no longer want the documents, you need to manually delete the folder. So you can select it, just hit delete and delete it in the normal way. Another tip here is because this is SharePoint, we can use the recycle bin. So I'm just gonna expand this out just a little bit here. So I get my left-hand navigation back in SharePoint. And when I press recycle bin here at the bottom left, you'll see that Matt's channel is listed as a restorable item. So that goes for anything that gets deleted from Teams. So let's go and test that out. So if I go back to Teams, I'm just gonna expand that. When I go to the manufacturing channel, 
and to the file section and I'm just going to delete this file called plan.doc and then I'm just going to press delete on that. It tells you here that this file will be moved to the recycle bin in SharePoint which is great. So I hit confirm, it deletes the file and if I switch back to SharePoint I can expand that and I click on the recycle bin I should see there's the plan doc that I just deleted so I can restore it if I need to and that will then be restored to Teams. And there it is. One last tip. So what Teams and SharePoint can't seem to cope with is changing the names of channels. For example, if I come up to manufacturing, I can edit the channel and rename it. So if I just rename it to manufacturing one, two, three and hit save. Now if I go to files, you can see I've got my files there, but if I switch to SharePoint and go to the documents library, you can see it has not updated the manufacturing name here. It's kept the folder at the same name. So don't expect it to update the name in SharePoint if you change it in Teams. So what happens if you accidentally delete a folder from SharePoint, which can easily happen? If you select it and press delete, so the whole manufacturing folder is now deleted. So it's going to disappear from this list. Now we go back to Teams. It hasn't deleted the manufacturing channel. It's still there. But if I click on it and go to files and do a refresh, you'll see that there are now no files in the channel. And even though in SharePoint it's missing, the channel still exists in Teams. Now if I was to add a file to this now, I just do a add a file word document, create that and close that. You can see my file in Teams now and if I switch back to the browser and refresh this page it now has a new manufacturing folder so it's created a new one and it's added my document to it. So you can see if you delete a folder by accident Microsoft Teams will replace it once a new document has been added. So you need to be aware of that as well. I hope those tips help you and I hope you now understand how Microsoft Teams stores its files and folders in SharePoint. Thanks for watching.